Since 1964, the Christian Appalachian Project has made it their mission to commit to serving people in need in Appalachia by providing physical, spiritual, and emotional support through a wide variety of programs and services. Today, CAP is the 15th largest human services charity in the nation, touching the lives of more than a million people in eastern Kentucky and western West Virginia through programs such as housing repair, abuse counseling, early child development, adult education, and huge amounts of more. Of course, I tend to be a little more biased towards this organization since I'm a long-term volunteer, but if you happen to be a little more skeptical about their finances and whatever, um, just check out some links in the sidebar. You can see their listings on the Charities Review website and, uh, and also GuideStar. The GuideStar report you'll have to sign up, but it's pretty simple. It's just your name, your email address, and um, you know, kind of why you're interested in looking at the report. Um, and they don't really send you any spam or anything, so that's kind of nice. As I said, I am currently a year-long volunteer with a housing program with CAP, and uh, I've kept most of the YouTube community up to date through my video blog. Um, also, you know, linked in the sidebar and probably in that little black space over there. I also served for a week with our Disaster Relief and Response Program, and I took a video the entire time I was there, kind of a live video blog. This video is a response to that video, so if you check that one out, um, that gives you kind of more of an, another idea of sort of where we're, what we do, and and um, just another aspect of, of where I've served personally. We have a bunch of other programs that touch the lives of, as I said, a, a million people each year. So, um, you know, it's just a wide berth of, of uh, service. There are a few ways you can help CAP. One is through a straightforward cash donation through their website. Obviously, the link's in the sidebar over there. Um, that's always appreciated. From what I hear, more than 50% of our donor base gives less than twenty dollars per donation so it's not like you have to be some super mega corporate you know superstar to uh... to make a donation every single penny counts um, there's times where people just send us a dollar and that's that's enough um, a dollar goes a long way with with the kind of organization that we have however if by chance you are one of those big corporate big wigs that has access to um, donatable items like clothing books food furniture um, building supplies, anything like that, you can contact our operation sharing program. Um, I didn't really talk about that much in the video because it's in this video because it's uh, it's almost another um, charity in and of itself. But it is hooked up with CAP and we use all their resources and that's how we got Christmas baskets out this year and um, that's how we get a lot of our building supplies. All of our insulation comes from operation sharing for the. Um, for the home repairs. So it really is a huge part of what CAP does and where we get a lot of our um, uh, donations and things. So if you have access to that or you know someone that does, um, contact them uh, at Operation Sharing. The information's in the sidebar, um, once again, like everything else always is. And lastly, if you're like me and you can't really donate money because you're poor um, and you're either a college student or whatever and you're looking for something to do after college and you're not sure where you have a job, um, the excellent way to do um, donations and help is through volunteering your time, like I'm doing right now. Um, we have volunteer programs anywhere from two weeks to, you know, a year. From like summer camp to what I'm doing in housing to adult ed to all those programs I mentioned earlier in the video, you can donate or you can um, you can volunteer your time in any one of those programs. Just contact our recruiters through the uh, through the links in the sidebar once again. Or if you happen to be like a youth group leader or a, any kind of group leader, um, there's group volunteer opportunities um, that you can come and work for a week or two or a month or whatever you really want to, I guess. I don't really know how it works exactly, but contact all the recruiters in the sidebar and, and they'll hook you up with all the information you need to. Hey, thanks for listening and never forget to be awesome. Sorry my voice is kind of weird, I'm sick.